Hello, we hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news out there. This is going to be a very simple series. Each and every week, we're going to break down, of course, solos and duos, each having five qualifiers and one qualifier being done this past weekend for the World Cup solos, the first week that being, and uh, some definite surprises out there. I, for one, was very relieved because going into this, we literally had no idea what to expect. We could have seen every single pro player not qualify and a bunch of no-names take our first spots for the World Cup. So it was nice to see a lot of pro names out there and definitely an expectation set for the future because there are are many players out there and streamers who took the risk and went ahead and actually streamed it with limited delay or like Tifu, no delay at all. So I hope you guys all enjoy. Let's break it down from uh, the lesser popular regions to the more popular regions. I'm pretty much going to overview the pros or the people who actually did qualify and then kind of touch on the pros that barely qualified or uh, just barely did not qualify as well. So let's break it down. First of all, guys, going over to Asia, and this is certainly one I don't really follow too much, so stick with me, guys. The only Asian tournament I've actually seen has been one single event, but it's actually Fax Fox taking the one single spot. Some KGA boys, including Sexy Boy, and a couple GE boys as well, also up there. Notable performance, though. The one name you might recognize, Cloud9, one of their newer acquisitions, of course, in this region, that being Duty, actually had a top 30 performance, and that's all of the Asian performers I actually knew about. Besides that, though, a little bit more notable, that being Brazil. We do see, uh, again, quite a few surprises in this region whatsoever as well. That being, a, we've seen some of our top players actually not even break the top 30. That continues in here, but from Brazil, it will be a pop popular clan there, the Quasar clan member Leo, followed closely by a couple team red members. There was actually quite a few in the top 30, Snow and Piranha being the top of those. Techno is also up there. We have Inns History, and if you guys recognize W7M, as you probably should, DK's up there, and Blackouts also rounding out the top 30 there. Blackouts is widely regarded as one of the better Brazilian players, so the disparity there, him just barely being top 30, really shows you right away the sneak peek we're going to get for future solos at just how much the RNG does affect even the best players in the world. Now to the one region where players out there even debated moving to, that, as a joke of course, that being OCE, as they also get one spot. This is the first of these playlists out there, or actually of the rankings out there we see where there are not many pro players whatsoever. Because we see a guy named Slaya, he takes a spot. Renegades, no surprise, that's their region. They actually have quite a few players breaking the top 50. Uh, Hershey was one of them, a few others as well. And uh, Ghost Zarbi, really that's the only uh, top placement name I really could recognize besides the Renegades boys, but Slaya, he steals it away, he takes the OCE spot, and finally, we enter the one of the regions out there, which is most hyped up, that being the European region, and competition, well, it was definitely not scarce, it was plentiful, and it was really nice to see, refreshing to see, a bunch of nearly everyone who made the top six as well is affiliated with some organization of at least some sort, but what shocked me the most, and almost kind of makes you angry, we're going to do this for the next four weeks as well, is you see the players that were just so close, who you've been cheering for as well, Airwalks, Vado, Blacks, uh, Mongrel and Motor, of course, Magin and Issa, the names go on and on for Europe, so it was a very, very close competition, but as well, it's still nice to see some organized players out there. It'll be really nice to see as well who can actually creep up this list as hopefully some of the winners do not return to recompete here. So Europe was one of the first spots where we can actually see a lot of organization or a lot of tied players out there, signed players out there really competing. And then we hop to NA West, which I am very curious about because I would not be surprised, or maybe I should say I am surprised that more players are not moving to West, although I will say the disparity between between six spots and two spots is definitely immense, but also the disparity between the competition in East that we were going to uh, break down very last inside the top 30 to 50 players there is way different from the number of pro players we see in the top 30 to 50 from NA West, which was just about, uh, you know, really no one. Honestly, we'll take a look at the list as well. You might not even recognize the majority of these names. I don't expect you guys to. We had Snow and River Sand taking the two spots, and to be quite honest with all of you guys, besides T1 member Fulmer, who had some really good Winter Royale placements, I do believe that's where I finally recognized recognized his name from and, and T1 a little bit a little bit well recognized out there as well besides him really not recognizing many names out there in this list. So I would not be surprised to see any players who want to move from the sixth spot NA East, we'll talk about here in a second, which was astoundingly competitive. Of all the regions out there, besides maybe Europe, there were so many pro players inside the top 50 and especially inside the top 20. Uh, the closeness, the, the lack of disparity between these guys was overwhelming to say the very least. So I'd like to see some players out there take the risk, especially we know many of those pro players actually are coastal players and they have opportunities to actually move from NA East 
East to NA West if they wanted to. So it would be really cool to see people take advantage of that if they see the NA West competition like, like I think we have, pretty lacking especially compared to East as we entered into that guys. Once again, very, very nice to see some refreshing names on this list. Uh, I think Vivid most of all, Bizzle as well. Who didn't expect those guys to qualify? But the rest of the list on top of that, just really, really, of course, I got to be astonished by these players looking so good and so strong. I got to be very happy for them at the same time. But again, you feel really bad for the people that are just so close and barely outside. Lenane in there, Fuzzy in there, of course, our, uh, our boy Ghost Assault also in there. But on top of that, you look at a lot of players out there like Creo. Now formerly, uh, of course, we know him from Luminosity Gaming, newly signed pretty recently here to Lazarus. He's in the top 20 as well. Uh, so props to that kid, uh, of, co of course, coming back very strong as well and looking very strong. Again, like I said before, going to be very, very cool to see where these players can creep up if players do not return uh, once they do make these placements, which they uh, hopefully should not. Of course, prize money, though, can sway just about anyone to do anything out there. On top of that, you know, Cloaksy inside the top 35, Symphony up there as well. Demo, a ton of pro players on this list that have actually cracked the top 50 or the top 100 who certainly have an outside chance no matter what qualifiers they do participate in. And now of course on the next week we'll break down as well the duos which are going to be all the more hectic. I cannot wait to see of course first of all what duos we do see out there if anyone's going to change up partners which is probably not expected but when it comes to random duos out there you'd likely see that RNG based in, in terms of duos the professional duos out there have an even better chance than the solo uh, solo professional players out there do have qualifying so we'll see how competitive it does get we should see, see some more pro names out there especially this next week for duos but as always i hope you guys all enjoy my name is jake i'll see you back here sometime soon with more fortnite news and until next time guys take care